Good morning dear students, you are watching the English language program conducted in Jataka Pasala for the GCE Ordinary Level Examination. Dear students, so far we have done three lessons and this is the fourth lesson we are doing for this year. This lesson or this unit is about facing challenges. So what do you mean by challenges? So almost all the people in their life, they will have to face challenges. Due pute, other me part of being, api obas samaga saakaccha karan te ane me theme me katamai challenges. Ye mane tang abiyoga obatla bina kohoma dekat mohona den, api kohoma de apili bandhava English se baas aavyo dala khata karan. Even at the Apil Bandavapi, Lian Nekomad, in the Mapil Bandavai, Adapi Padamikara, Saka Chakra and Balapurtuani. Now, especially in this lesson, first of all, we will be talking about the challenges in sports activities, and later we'll talk about other challenges we come across. Now, you can see on the screen uh, some challenges that we are going to face. In this picture, you can see some people who are attempting to row a boat, or we can call it water rafting. Now you can find this in your textbook, and you can keep your textbook with you and try to understand it. This is about water rafting. Water rafting is an adventurous outdoor team activity. 
It is done in white water or different degrees of rough water using an inflatable raft. Balatnubiti inflatable la piyekata ara hulang ghala hada ganda puluang raft he kata mayan. This sport is challenging. Uh, this sport is challenging and considered to be dangerous if the necessary safety precautions are not followed. So this is important. Me avasya araksaka vidana ganinatang. This sport is challenging and considered to be dangerous. So take a anatru sahagata venda puluang avasya araksaka pivarva nogatut. This sport is challenging and considered to be dangerous if the necessary safety precautions are not followed. This has now become a popular sport. However, it is necessary to minimize the impact of this sport on nature. So let us move on to the next part. There should be a leave no trace policy. Now this is all this is also challenging. Make a challenge. There should be a leave no trace policy. Api Kisiam Dia Pavichikalha make Kisiam Apadravyak Itana Yuda Noyanda Bagabalaga Natone. There should be a leave no trace policy when engaging in rafting. The sportsmen should learn to dispose of waste properly, leave what they find in the wilderness, respect wildlife, keep fires small, etc. Api Yudagan Hamadiakma Inkala Yandone Eva Gima keep fires small. Api Gindra Yudaganolang Itama Auma Vidya to Daganatone. So everything is challenging. When we are doing something, there are certain things that we should follow. Now let us move on to another challenging thing.
you can see uh, this one surfing we call it surfing surfing is done with the help of a surfboard now you noticed in the picture surfing is done with the help of a surfboard this is an act of riding on a wave me kattatama me muhude tiyana ralat ekkala tamai meka gaman karanna this is an act of riding on a wave especially a sea wave this can be challenging when the waves become rough me the rala goda kralu nahama meka it will become challenging this can be challenging when the waves become rough there are three major styles of surfing this is done in natural waves as well as in artificial waves now here are two factors you will be questioned on this the metara kotas dekak kena this is done in natural waves swabhavika rala wala e wage me as well as in artificial waves next one this sport has developed into a number of other types including skateboarding wakeboarding skimboarding and windsurfing men me kotas walata e wa diwaya e wa wedi dunu wenawa among others skateboarding is popular among teenagers taruniya athara hunga janapriya skateboarding keneka this is an action sport which enables riding and performing tricks on the skateboard so it is a challenging sport let's move on to the next one now you can see parachuting
This is also known as parachuting. Uh, skydiving is done by jumping out of an aircraft and falling for as long as one safely can before opening the parachute. Parachute ko open vena kang tamang pitatar panela indone. Once the sportsmen jump out of the aircraft, they fall freely with the aid of gravity. Guru tuwa karasan ya tikkala egullo palle hard bati nam. Next one, the real challenge is to slow down the fall and reach the earth with the help of the parachute. In the the real challenge is to slow down the fall and reach the earth with the help of the parachute. Parachute ke adarin polavata langavinik. This sport was practiced even during the 18th century. It is said that in 1797, Henry Jacques Ganerian jumped from a hot air balloon with a parachute. It was the first incident of truly modern skydive. So that is also a challenging sport. Now let us move on to some more. In the military, it is used as a backup safety mechanism. Yudhahamudhavet, maya ektara mechanism maya kharete prayojanet gano for airmen. Many modern militaries use skydiving for troop deployment. E army ekke ekka tangbala e troops deploy karan yudha gano. While firefighters also parachute to reach remote sites so that they can be on the ground quickly. Ewa gema me lao gini ati vena pradesa wala e tangbala ta me bata in at present, it is a well-known recreational sport. Eva gamer, we know the Akla Bagan letter, Yodana Krida Vakatia Saraka. Now, what, what, what can this be? Now, we call this pole vaulting. Pole vaulting is a challenging sport. In this track and field event, the sportsman uses long, flexible pole. Diga eva game namina sulu, pole leka kodagan as an aid to jump over a bar. Pole jumping competitions were known to the ancient Greeks, Cretans, and Celts. Greek Jatik, Cretans, Celtics, Varu, Egulio Dagat. The sportsman should have a speed of a sprinter, Ethokotami, Creda Kekta, or Dhaveki Uge, Vegi Onekano. Speed of a sprinter, runner. Then the flexibility of a gymnast. तो कुछ जिम्नास्टिक करने पुत्गले के अरे नेव में तिब्बती सुबहाबी आवश्यक है ना एंड डी वर्टिकल जंप ऑफ जंप ये वाके में उस अपारे ने कहने को गए थे कि ना दक्षता आवश्यक है ना वा फॉर अ पर्सन हु इज प्रैक्टिसिंग पोल वॉल्टिंग दिस नीड्स कारेज में कुछ दाहिरी आवश्यक है ना टू जंप अप इन डी फ्री but also to land correctly. So, what I mean, here a penny, man, just a penny, with a rock, me, never to pull over the path, the mat, it's a kraman, cool, a kali yutui. This has been a full medal event at the Olympic Games since 1896 for men, ekda sarasi anu ahe da pirimi pamanai kali, and since 2000 for women. So, we talked about different kind of sports activities that would be challenging. Now, let us move on to uh, some activities regarding what we have read. Water rafting is an outdoor sport, so it is correct. We have to put it there. Skydivers do not need parachutes to land, so definitely they need it. So this statement is not correct. So you have to use either you can use it's a cross or you can use F here. Here you can use T here, T or right, one of them, either T or T. Then skydivers uh, do not need parachute to land, either F falls or uh, the cross mark. Surfing is not a challenging sport, it is really a challenging sport. So again, it is F or you can use the cross. 
surfing is done only in natural waves. So we learned that surfing is done on natural waves as well as artificial waves. So this statement is wrong. So you have to use the word F or you can mark a cross. You are asked to write F, but some students use either tick or crossy. Next one, pole vaulting is done by both men and women. So it is correct. So it is T, true, or you can put a tick like this. So uh, you will have to do an exercise like this. Now let's move on to the next activity. Uh, answer the following questions. Okay. Answer the following questions. How can how can water rafting be dangerous? So we read a statement. It will be dangerous if we do not follow the necessary precautional steps. Api avasya araksaka pivaraval nogatot maker. Uh, it will be dangerous. What are the environmental friendly practices followed in water rafting? That is, we read, leave no trace policy. Kisima deyak, apadravyak, noda, etri pitavi. What is skydiving? That is, uh, riding on waves. Now let's move on to, for which purpose skydiving used? Sometimes, specially, uh, there are several purposes. One is now skydiving is also parachuting, especially as a sport. Then where there are wildfires and military purposes. So, so many purposes it is done. Uh, what are the types of surfing mentioned in the text? So, there are three items. Uh, you can read the book and write those answers. What are the abilities a pole vaulting sportsman should have to become successful? So, a pole vaulting sportsman should have the speed of a sprinter. Flexibility of a gymnast and uh, the talents of a jumper. Now, let's move on to another challenging situation. Here is a dialogue. We'll read it quickly. Nitya says, this time we have to organize the morning assembly. Kamalesh, really that sounds interesting. Sahas, yes, each class is given a chance to do it every month. Sujit, who is going to conduct the assembly? So this is also a challenge because as a student of a class, sometimes you will have to conduct an assembly. Samara Panthi Valata, assembly eka maasekata sariyak, samahalla vata yedinava. So, you will have to accept that challenge. Now, let us move on. Kamalesh, I think you can do it better, Sahas. Me? Oh no, Nitya, don't worry, we will help you. Sahas, all right, I am ready to take the challenge. So, I am ready to take the challenge. He is going to take the challenge of organizing the uh, assembly. Now let us see uh, some question. What is this discussion about? Certain kind of challenge that is they have been asked to uh, organize the assembly. I am ready to take the challenge. What does Sars mean by this? That is he is going to organize it. Do you consider this to be a challenge? Yes. Why? Because organizing an assembly is not an easy thing. But Amaru Dya Karanavatama me challenge kela baragani. So organizing an assembly is not an easy task. You have to see to so many things. Discuss in pairs and write the program of the assembly. Now let us see what we can discuss. Now in organizing a program, we have to we have to use these things religious observances, school song, morning thought, or song by Nitya. So these things can be included in your program, or we call it the agenda of the assembly. Kamales is going to deliver a speech on challenges make us strong. In this assembly, 
they are Kamalesh is going to make a speech. Challenges make us strong. Now let us see how he organized this. Kamalesh prepared the mind map. He think when the May Vidya Yodagata when organizing speech work in groups to develop the mind map into a speech and write it in your writing book. So this is a task given in your book. Now let us see what we should do. This is the topic. Challenges make us strong. We are not able to do this. 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 What is a challenge? You have to introduce it. What a challenge is. Now we have to fight for something. We have to accept some kind of daring activity. Then we have to talk about personal experience. Different types of challenges in life. Successful individuals. You can give examples of people who have accepted challenges. Inviting friends to face challenges. When you get a challenge, not to avoid it. Then in this uh, activity, we need some grammar points, use of should and must. Now, we should, must, we should, must, we should, must, we should, we should, we should, we should, we For example, you should take up this challenge. We challenge ka baragata yutui. You must obey the law. Uba niti ata, niti garuka viya yutui. Must is stronger in emphasis than should. Ito kata, we must kiya neka vada balavat, should kiya neka ta vadiya. Now, let us move on to an activity. Complete the blanks using should or shouldn't, must or mustn't. You brush your teeth before you go to bed at night. So it is something we should do, therefore it should be, you must brush your teeth. The children play too much when they have to do homework. The children play too much. You know, the children should not play too much when they have to do homework. If you homework, you should do homework. Let's move on to the next one. You cross the road when the traffic lights are red. The traffic lights are red now, right? You should not cross the road when the traffic lights are red. The parents allow children to do risky things. So you can say the parents should not allow children to do Risky things. Or we can say must not. The parents must not allow children to do risky things. You always speak the truth. You must always speak the truth. Right. Now let us move on to another activity. Here in this unit, we have certain stages of reported speech. Let us see. When we report a statement from in the present tense, it should be converted into past tense. Now, we will be doing it in detail later on, but in this unit, we have some exercises. Here, Sahas said, I am ready to take the challenge. So, how can we report it? Sahas said that he was ready to take the challenge. Sahas kiwa that he was ready to take the challenge. Then, I am ready kiyaneka. I, he velati, I am kyaneka was velati. So present tense is converted into past tense. Sahas said that he was ready to take the challenge. I am hungry. Next one, I see two children at the gate. Now let us see how to do. I am hungry. Mahesh said that he was hungry. Then Balanda, I kyaneka, he venava. Metana pirimi kyaneka, Mahesh said that he was hungry. We say, Mahe, she said that she was hungry. Am becomes was. I see two children at the gate. Now here, I see. Now let us see how to report it. 
the teacher said and we have to use the word that the teacher said that he saw two children at the gate if the teacher is a female the teacher said that she saw two children at the gate e anuoba wenas karagata yutu and to see i am hungry mahe said that he was hungry or mahe she said that she was hungry i see two children at the gate the teacher said that he saw two children at the gate or the teacher said that she saw two children at the gate next one will become wood nitya says to sahas we will help you the conversation again got the work nitya says uh, nitya said to sahas we will help you so nitya told sahas me said to kiyane ek api report karana kota told wendo ne nitya told sahas that they would help him we means they they would help him will become wood i will do it tomorrow renu said that she would do it the next day now your tomorrow becomes the next day the next day becomes the following day the next week become the following weeks so like that there are changes i will do it tomorrow renu said that she would do it the next day now write the following in reported or indirect speech now here is an exercise i am very interested in music he said now you will be getting a question for your o level exam something like this i am very interested in music he said so how can we do that he said that he was very interested in music and he said that he was very interested in music instead of he if he use she she said that she was very interested in music if you use they they said that they were very interested in music e vidiyata duwe pute me kriya padaya wenas karagannata oni the children said we will clean our classroom we will clean our classroom simple future tense so let us see how to do this the children said that they would clean our classroom sometimes our may be they api apita sambandha nathi tanaka nan the children said that they would clean their classroom apith in the class ekana the children said that they would clean our classroom so you have to make those changes number 3 my sister said i can finish this project in 2 weeks you must study hard our teacher said to us kamal said i bought a new dictionary yesterday let us see the first one my sister said that she could finish that project in 2 weeks and my sister said that she could finish that project in 2 weeks now instead of my sister if we have my brother so my brother said that he could finish that project in 2 weeks you have to make those changes next one you must study hard our teacher said to us now when we use must there are two ways that you should change it sometimes you will have to use the same word must sometimes you will have to use had to now let us read this one your teacher told us that we must study hard e kiyanne meka hamadama kaliyutu deyak api mahansiyen weda kala yutuyi kiyana eka our teacher told us that we must study hard ඒ වෙලා විතරක් කළ යුතුව තිබුණා නම් අපි කියනවා that our teacher told us that we had to study hard for example uh, somebody would say i must go home now you can say he said that he had to go home then if he say you must brush your teeth twice a day the teacher said that we must brush our teeth twice a day samahara tan wala must kiyana ethe ee vidiyata me odanawa සමහර තැන් වල ඒක had to කියලා වෙනස් විය යුතුයි. Next one Kamal said I brought a new dictionary yesterday. I bought a new dictionary yesterday. Kamal said that he had bought a new dictionary the previous day. Now here are two changes. bought that is a past tense verb you have to change it into past perfect eka past perfect baata pat karanna one bought kiyana eka had bought wenna one
Kamal said, I bought a new dictionary yesterday. Now here you have two words, bought, yesterday. Bought should be converted into had bought and yesterday, the previous day. Kamal said that he had bought a new dictionary the previous day. Have you ever put up a will I make a report? Kamal said that he bought a new dictionary yesterday. Kamal said that he bought a new dictionary yesterday. Kamal said that he had bought a new dictionary the previous day. Kamal said that he had bought a new dictionary the previous day. Now, uh, let's move on to another activity. Read the following poem, add more lines to it using the clues given. Now let's see, if bees stay at home, rain will soon come. If they fly away, fine will be the day. If bees stay at home, rain will soon come. Now this is some kind of prediction. If bees stay at home, if there are bees, that means there will be uh, rain. If they fly away, fine will be day. If the bees fly away, me mas vigilila yanavanang, it will be a nice day. So, now here we get the conditional clause. There is a condition, mukad the condition, bees stay at home. We can me mas so, gedar innavanang, gedatuli innavanang, there will be a rain. So, it will rain soon. If they fly away, if they fly away, fine will be the day will be they will be fine. So, like that, let us try to find something for this. If you see a rainbow, what can you say? If you see a rainbow, we can say there will be rain. Or sometimes you can see if there if if you see a rainbow, it will rain soon. So here yeah, normally uh, when we use the conditional tense. In the if clause, you get the present tense and the result clause, you get the future tense. If you see a rainbow, it will rain soon. Next one, if you see some dark clouds, what can you, if you see some dark clouds? So you can say, uh, it may rain or it will rain. Then it may rain, it will rain, it will rain, probability take a ready. If you see some dark clouds, it may rain or it will rain or there is a possibility of raining, something like that. If you see mist in the morning, if you see mist, if you see the mist in the morning or see mist in the morning, what will happen? Sometimes we can see if you see mist in the morning, it will be a fine day. Sometimes it will be a hot day. So. Uh, you can make so many predictions. If you see a rainbow, it will rain soon. If you see some dark clouds, uh, it will rain or it may rain. If you see mist in the morning, it will be a fine day or it will be a sunny day, it will be very hot. So like that we can make other things, especially if close. It has two parts, the if close and the result close. For example, uh, if you drop a glass, what will happen? If you drop a glass, it will break into pieces. If you help me, I will help you too. If you worked hard, you would pass the exam. The method you worked hard and you would pass the exam. If you make a site pavatina adahasak, netta imagination neka prakasaka no atita kaliodana. For example, if I won a sweep ticket, mata sweep dinumak aduno, I would help the poor. Mama dupatunta udaukar. If I won a sweep ticket, then tauma bit adil and abe api ati me anagata kali odanene api ati the kali vatanekodan. If I won the sweep ticket, take a visa yedumak, 
If I won the sweep ticket, I would help the poor. If again, the mama me rate janadi pati unoti. If I were the president, then do you put me tendi me I kya na vachape vachane tekkala bahu vachane akke de. Were samahar saman yenge de ne I was, but here I were. If I were the president, I would help the poor. Okay. So today, I try to show you. how we can express or how we can use the language to talk about challenges we talk about challenges in sports activities and our day to day activities and sometimes at schools and how to talk about that so dear uh, children so with that we would come to the end of this lesson so i i would like to thank you and i wish you all the best